Vivo V23 is a beautiful phone coming with a glass body. Can it perform beautifully in our battery and camera test too? We will see in this video. Let's go through its main features first and then start our test. Well, if you are here for the first time, please subscribe to Phone Year and press the bell icon. Vivo is giving us a 6.44 inch AMOLED screen. It gives FunTouch 12, Helio G96 chipset, 8GB RAM and 256GB internal storage. But you can also get extra 4GB extended memory. Vivo provides 44W charger that should refill the 4050mAh battery really fast. The previous version V21e had a 4000mAh battery and a 33W charger but this time Vivo says 69% battery get charged in 30 minutes. But in our test it reached 70% in 28 minutes which is unexpectedly better than what Vivo promised. And the entire battery reaches 100% in less than an hour which is excellent. So Vivo V23e charging speed is really good. Now let's drain the battery fully and see how long it is going to survive in our video loop test. And while it drains, let's check out how good the progress is on 4G mobile data. Well as we noted, a 30 minute WhatsApp video call can drain 7% battery on this phone. One hour of YouTube took away 9% battery. Similarly, TikTok drained 6% battery in 30 minutes. And if you do a video recording for 30 minutes, you can expect 9% battery drain. A PUBG session of 1 hour can drain some 14% battery. So guys if you do an extensive multitasking for 4 hours continuously including games, social media, browsing, you should expect a 51% battery drain on this phone. So to summarize this, I can say you can get a 9 to 10 hours of battery backup on this phone using different applications consistently. Well, about the video loop test, the drain ends in 18 hours and 33 minutes which is a great time. Well, I should tell you my surrounding temperature was 17 to 18 centigrade, but the timing may vary if the temperature is higher on your side. It can decrease depending upon the temperature. Now let's start our second important test which is the camera test. The phone is giving us a 50 megapixel lens on the front for selfies and a 64 megapixel lens on the rear side. Now let's see how good this phone is with the video and pictures in day and night. The rear side also gives us two more lenses, an 8 megapixel ultra wide lens and a 2 megapixel macro lens. Well before we look at the camera results, let's see what are the Vivo V23e highlighting features on this camera. It offers up to 1080p videos from the front and rear cameras, 4K is missing unfortunately but you can shoot at up to 60 frames per second from the back camera. Electronic stabilization is available for front and rear videos. Slow-mo mode is present for the rear and front videos. Usually we come across this feature on the rear cameras but integrating it with the front lens is a nice addition on this phone. Besides, you get night mode on the front and rear camera, double exposure, dual view, pro mode and etc. Now let's see the camera result of Vivo V23e. As I told you earlier, it can shoot up to 1080p videos at 60 frames per second. Well as I am testing, it's a cloudy day as you can see in this video and look at the difference between the two shots with EIS mode active and otherwise. You can also use a couple of filters and this can boost up colors and contrast in your videos. Look at the difference between a standard video and a video with filter activated. Let's do a little zooming and see the difference when EIS is on and when it is off. I think I have a better control on zooming with EIS on because the other one is looking quite shaky. And here is a sample from the front camera video. The 1080p video looks like this. I have also zoomed the same video for you to see the level of details the front camera can capture for you. And at night when there is a background light behind you, this is what you can get in the outdoors. You should know that the front camera doesn't offer a flashlight for videos. But it is different in the case of selfies. You get aura screen flash that is enough for most of the conditions. It can handle the backlit areas reasonably well. At night mode selfies are much better in details and colors than ultra high definition selfies at night. The day selfies with photo, portrait and high definition modes are all good and you also get to play with a few filters with the front camera. Another thing that is cool about this Vivo V23e is the presence of slow-mo video feature on the front camera. You can only make 720 resolution videos in slow-mo mode. The rear camera can do 1x and 2x zoom in this mode, so does the front lens. Well I don't know how much fun thing this front camera slow-mo video can be, but sometimes it can pick a really different skin tones than actually you have. In such a case, restart your camera app and it gets better. I think Vivo should fix this problem in their OS update. Let's look at some more samples for you.
So this was the Vivo V23 e battery and camera test for you guys. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And let me know in the comments if you like this phone or not. See you in the next video. Allah Hafiz.